Hey, welcome back. We're walking around a 1968 Mustang today. This one here's got a 351. It's got the Roush aluminum heads. Sweet. This car's very fast. Um, she's got a lot of power. Aluminum radiator, electric fan, no power steering. It's not too bad in this one though. I was circling around this parking lot a lot. All right. You know it's set up for the strip, but the windshield wipers and all that, we're gonna be going over checking anyways. Seeing if all that stuff works, that's why I make these videos. Back tires on this one. Oh, she's ready to hook up. If you're new to the channel, go to maplemotors.com and check out um, all of our detailed photos, all of our inventory we update every Monday. We are very busy, uh, we have a high volume of calls coming in so if you don't get your call answered you can call back a little bit later and we should be free from the line but i do have financing and shipping and i can ship this car anywhere in the nation i do have a hood i sat it in the grass over there it's pretty it looks good we'll check it out as well but there's no hinges it bolts down okay let's get started any flaws i see i will let you know and that's exactly why i make this video Running around the front bumper here. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Same with the grill. Decently clean. Definitely gonna run down this side first because of the way the shadows are falling with the sun. A little mark down there coming up over the fender. You got a couple little marks inside the paint job here. A little crack right there in the front. You also got a little spot there. Coming up over the fender here, there's a chip. Right on the edge of the door, you got a lot of chips. A little bit of bubbling up under that paint. Got a couple touch-up touch marks, sorry. Bubbles on these stripes. Paint runs. Coming up over the fender. A little bit of work's been done back here in the corner. You can see it right there. Midsection. Still following my shadow. That looks pretty good through there. Door handle does have a lot of pitting on it. Chips around the uh, lock there. Mirror needs to be replaced. She's got a lot of pitting. Same with the trim around the vent window. Touch up marks, a couple swirls in the corner. I will slow down and stop when I see stuff, just like that in the corner there. Coming over the top portion, a little swirly on the paint job. Got some uh, chips right there in the corner where the hood was put on and off. Also got a fuel pressure gauge sitting on the hood right here. Trim around the windows is in decent shape. A little bit of overspray in the corner. Coming up over this window, you got a couple little spots in the trim. Light scratch on the roof there. A couple little chips here and there. You got a scratch on the trunk lid. Little chips here and there, missing some trim around the back window. Package tray is dry rotted. Looks like the speakers are not gonna work. There's no radio in this. You probably wouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> Little scuffs on the trunk there. Rear bumper's in good shape. It does have some spots where water's been running down, but it looks like they wipe right off. We had a crazy storm come through here this week. You got some pitting popping up on your tail lights. Both sides. Scuffs, chips across the trunk lid. I do have pictures of all of this stuff at my website at maplemotors.com. It's worth checking out. Coming around the back end. They haven't ran the exhaust. It dumps out under the car. Lower portion here. Up over the rear. Got paint runs. Couple chips. A little dimple there. Paint runs. 
Lots of little craters. It's like orange peel throughout the door there. They did put a cheaper paint job on this car. And that's why it looks like that. Lots of little touch up marks. You got a lot of little dimples and spots in the paint all over the car. Like I said, this was a cheaper paint job. You can see them running down the fender there, kind of scattered. I'm not going to point all of them out. There's hundreds of little dimples. You do have some pitting on the door handle. Scuff from earlier. Little scuff on the roof here. Pitting on the trim. Antenna's missing. Yeah, that's got some spots in the paint there where they put the cheaper paint on it. Okay. We've made it around her. Now let's check the interior out, get her started. I do have detailed photos. Like I said multiple times, I want you to know that. I want you to check it out. That's why I say it. Because if you're interested in this, I want you to see every bit of information that we can provide you. Did notice on the door handle, they didn't put a pin in it. But they've also added, a, I guess, a little plastic knob fell off on that one. It's supposed to look like that over there. They added that. I was like, whoa, redneck ingenuity. But it does work. A little squeaky. Get some pitting popping up on there and your door handle there. Carpet in this one is not in bad shape. You got the racing harness, bucket seats. Headliners, definitely a mechanics headliner. They made it on this one. They've even got the edges still drooping like curtains. No, <laughs> go ahead and place your bets. You think the horn works on this one? It's got a B&M shifter. It's got some aftermarket gauges. Water temp took a second to come up, but once it did, it's breeding pretty correct. Oil pressure and volts were working. A spot for your nitrous, if you want it. Of course you want it. Let's get her started up here. So, I know that's a kill switch. We'll turn these on. And then you turn your key on here. Give her a second. Turn the key. And now it's very loud. <laughs> don't have windshield wipers but those knobs they are working the windshield wiper motor is working you'll have to add it to it if you want it put it back on the street horn no horn on this one i think everybody can hear you though it sounds incredible
and kill it with that. Now you can actually hear me. We're gonna look up under the car here. Check her out some more. Mirror's loose there. Do got a couple screws we can tighten up. We'll get that screwed in when we get back there to the car lot. I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots while in this video and head on back to the car lot. This car is very fast. I haven't even got on it yet. In the test drive video, um, it's got a big stall in it. I can put it down in first, which I haven't done yet, which I'm about to as we roll out of here. And she's gonna book it. I can already tell, so be sure to watch that test drive video. Let's look under this car and check it out. Perfect launch. That's cool. Look at the exhaust on this one. Coming around the side. Water's running through that radiator. Going around the front. Yeah. And of course the passenger side here. I do have a drive over video in the test drive. I do have detailed pictures. Let's get back on this test drive. I got to put this hood on. We'll go look at it real quick. I'm going to have to set it back on. It's fairly light. It's very easy to get off in good shape. I just set it in the grass here. Probably the safest spot I could find. Not in perfect shape, but it does have some issues there in the corners. Other than that, she looks pretty good. If you need financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories, go on over to maplemotors.com, check that out. I'm gonna get as many test drives as I can today. Like I said, we receive a very high volume of phone calls. So don't give up on us, just give us a call. If you're emailing us and stuff, same, same deal. Um, couple hundred emails a day now. So we're gonna do our best to get back to you. I do appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys.